I've been commuting via e-bike and train for more than five years and learned that a lightweight e-bike that is easily carried up and down stairs while also having the power to help me get up a 15 plus degree incline is perfect for my needs. I reviewed two lightweight commuter bikes over the past year, but I may have found a new rock star. Hello everybody, this is Matthew Miller, aka Palm Solo, and coming to you with a new look at the 10 ways Seago 600 Pro. And as you can see here, this is the one in the sky blue color. This is a sleek, minimalist design bike that has an embedded headlight, a removable battery that's integrated well into the frame, and no tail light, unfortunately. There's not, you can put a reflector on there. This is a 6061 aluminum bike with aluminum fenders on board. It has a Gates carbon belt drive, so there's one speed only, but it's maintenance free. There's no grease on your fingers. It's perfect for commuting. And it will get you from 43 to 53 miles, depending on your weight and uh, the assist level that you have enabled on there. Killer feature of it is it weighs 35.2 pounds. So as you can see, it is easy to carry up and down stairs. I love bikes that are light like this and that make it really easy to commute, to store, to travel with, and everything else. It does have pretty wide 40 millimeter puncture resistant tires, a little bit wider than some other ones, which for my commute is actually perfect because I ride on a mix of roads and sidewalks and things that aren't that great. It does have a 350 watt 40 newton meter rear hub motor with magnetic torque sensing in the pedal system. There are hydraulic disc brakes on the back and the front, and it is IP65 rated for the electronics, so you can don't have to worry about riding in the rain, and IPX4 rating for the rest of the parts. There is a very small controller over here on the left side with a power button, uh, up and down pedal assist, and then a mode button to scroll through all of the different features. And it provides the basic essentials, right? Your speed, your odometer, your pedal assist levels, and just the basics on this small little OLED display, which is all you really need. It does have a 264 and a half pound load capacity. And uh, since I continue to lose weight and I'm down to just over 230 right now, I'm doing pretty good. And it can get you up to 20 miles per hour. There is also a 10 way smartphone application that you can use for navigation, for monitoring the battery, for tracking the distance, um, and just for checking out the features of the bike. There are also some accessories. Uh, it can, you can get a rear and front carriers and pannier bags. It does come with the fenders and the kickstand currently with a special. So this bike is available for $15.99 uh, with the mud guards and the kickstand included, which is a $138 package option. Uh, this is the sky blue color, which is um, more teal green really than blue. There's also pebble gray, midnight black, avocado green. And there are also, but it's very important, is three different sizes. There's a medium for people that are 5'5 five, five to 5'9, five, a large for people that are 5'9 to 6'4 in height, and then an extra large for those that are taller than 6'4. I'm 6'1", and they sent along the large one for me, which is a perfect fit. You can see right here, I have the uh, seat at this level. I could have it uh, much higher if I was taller, and I could also shorten it up a little bit as well. So this 10 ways Seago 600 Pro is quite a bike, right? I've really enjoyed riding it. It has very comfortable hand grips here. The stem can be adjusted. It's a very stra straight handlebar system, but you can adjust that for your height. Those hydraulic disc brakes are very responsive and I just love the Gates carbon belt as well. So that's a look at the 10 ways Seago 600 Pro. It's a new brand for me and I'm very impressed. Uh, it's fairly affordable at $15.99, lightweight as I've mentioned, that carbon belt and the simple controller and the application. So this is my new daily commuter. If you like this video and you want to see more e-bike reviews, please subscribe, share with your family and friends, and I like to interact with the uh, viewers as well. So ask me any questions as I continue to ride this bike on my daily commute. Send me any comments you might have for improvements and things. And I appreciate you being an audience. May the mobile force be with you and thanks for watching. <laughs>